Capricorn, sign of the planet for you is with that. You can enjoy it. All right, so with that, Capricorn healed. You became aware of something and that was the last piece of the puzzle for you to get you to take action and invest in your emotions and put yourself in a state to heal. Look, with this information, it was some dirty secrets, some hidden information that Capricorn became aware of and Capricorn with that information, Capricorn, I'ma shoot you smooth deuces. That was all I needed to let this idea go, to let this mindset go, this look, to walk away from this. And so look, you done got you the cream of the crop and as far as information. Look, listen, you walk and you put something down. Whether this is how you think or who you hang out with, who you kick it with, if, who you in a relationship with, put your foot in the shoe. That fits you. Capricorn said, that's it though. Once upon a time, you may have been emotionally confused about how to feel about something. So all the emotional action you took was only immature or just only brought a situ brought situations to lower states of like consciousness. So it was like, if it was a relationship, you didn't know how you felt and because you didn't know how you felt, you, you manifested a person who would reflect that on you. It's like who would give you that back. So you not knowing how you feel, you manifest to someone else who don't know how they feel. Now y'all the perfect mirror for each other. So every time y'all see each other, y'all both don't know how to feel. You put a, put a period on that. All right. You find now that you look, you, you not because now you know how you feel. And now you want a mirror to match. The tower wanted to flip. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. <laughs> the tower came out. Look, something fell that was what? Not long term. Ten of coins on the bottom. So something fell. Whether you, again, whether, look, if you if it's falling and you got a pair of shmoo, all right, then you could, you could glide on down. Or it fell because it blew up in your face and you wasn't expecting something to blow up in your face. Regardless of if you like how it ended or not, something, something's falling. Whether you, you, you're the one who's causing something to fall or it's just something you're involved in that is falling. You're going to have to put your foot in the shoe. But something was not long term. You weren't supposed to be here, wherever here was. So look, God put a period on it. Look, lovers in reverse. You may be dealing with a Gemini. You don't got to be. Look, the truth came out that made you fall out of love with something. And you fell hard. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you, though. Don't let me tell you how you feel and how you think. You feel me? Na, 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 na. The next episode. Ooh, what's gonna happen the next episode? Look what the fuck. <laughs> ah, look what came out. Ten of coins, but it's up right now. Are you serious? I just showed you that. It was just on the bottom. Something fell, but it's made, it's like you making space for what you want long term. You had you realized in order for me to have this. In order for me to invest in this job that will take me where I want to be, I got to leave this last job. I can't work here if I want to work there type shit. I can't have this if I've been thinking like this. I can't have that if I've been acting like that. You feel me? Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. So you had to end that. You had to, something fell and then that shit might have fell pretty hard. Look what's on the bottom now in order to manifest this. Long term, are you talking generations here? Decades, maybe. You feel me? Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. Whether it's time, energy, money, or a mindset you can pass down from generation to generation. You realize you can't heal something, so you have to drop it. Maybe dealing with an Aquarius, you don't gotta be. Nah, 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 nah. I feel like I'm playing San Andreas. <laughs> With the money cheat code. <laughs> hey yo. 
Let's go easy. Mm-hmm. Look, because you, you know, it's like you found yourself. And now in order to be yourself, you got to drop something. Because you want to nurture something. Or you are, it's like you're already nurturing something. You're already nurturing the thought of something because you feel this will bring you stability. You feel this is stable. This is solid. This is real. So you, you, you ain't never stop thinking about it. This is because it's the queen. So this is your feminine energy. You can't stop nurturing this idea of this new business, this idea of these new friends, the idea of this new relationship, whatever it is you thinking about, you think it's, it's going to last a lifetime and you, you couldn't wait. To end whatever this was. Put a period on whatever this was. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. I told you something was a burden. Because it was taking your time, your energy, or your money. It was like something was robbing you blind. Whether this is you lying to you or someone you were invested in, a relationship you were invested in only brought you burdens. Because it's like, if this is my, someone was taking your money, it was like, they was taking, you was working hard for the money and it was just going through, falling right through your hands. If it's that case, you don't got to be that case. Or if this could just be your time, your energy, somebody would drain you and have you dragging. It was like someone was leeching off of you in some way, shape, or form. But you said no more. Stay from this day. Yeah, look, you healing. That's, you, you, got, you got over some bullshit. You got over some cap. Scotty, look, look at, the, look at the album art. You feel free. It's like you reborn. Hold on, I gotta get on big screen. Come on. Come on, dude. You see that shit, right? You back and you better. You healed over some bullshit. But if this was a, somebody expressed, it's like somebody kept talking down on you and they was killing your dreams, killing your mentalities, killing your ideas, or it was just like ways you used to think, ideas you used to have. You had to let that shit drop in order for you to heal. And, and that you letting that fall made space for you to realize what you actually want to invest in, what you actually want to nurture, what you actually want to mother, because you realize what's long-term, what's tangible, what's real for you. You know how you feel now. If it's you versus someone outside of you, someone outside of you could be nurturing an idea or just the mentality or the, it's like the idea of sharing a space with Capricorn, sharing a business or investing in a business endeavor or working with Capricorn. And it's like they, they healed over whether this was them talking like, okay, this, I, I shouldn't do this. It's like someone once upon a time used to be talking down about working with Capricorn or investing in the situation of Capricorn. It's like they, whether they let other people tell them and kill their perception on a space with Capricorn or this was just their own mind thinking negatively about sharing a space with Capricorn, thus keeping them from inve investing in a space with you in a positive manner, but no more. If it's you versus someone outside of you, no, someone is no longer thinking lower or just thinking in a way that will end the perception or the, I, the yeah, perspe perspective of sharing a space with you. Someone now wants to nurture a space with you. Someone wants to mother a space with you. You feel me? Because it's like, if it's you versus someone, you have to be in the state to be over it for, and be focused on a different channel in order for someone to be in the space to want to work on it type shit. You might, it's sound, you may be dealing with a Virgo. Maybe because Virgo, Virgo switched up in a sense where it was something very similar. When someone stopped fucking with Virgo, now Virgo want to start fucking with someone. It's that type vibe here. Now that you brought it into something, now that you no longer invest, now someone wants to heal something and work on something and take care of something with you. You feel me? So if that's the case, you feel me? Put your foot in the shoe that fits you. Whatever you focused on, though, you focused on something tangible now. You want something to go to mind. Withstand the tests of time. Mm, 
Capricorn. I was gonna say Virgo. <laughs> you may be dealing with one. You don't gotta be though. We got some coins, so you got Earth out here, and you got Air, so you may be dealing with an Air sign. You may be dealing with a Virgo. So put your foot in the street. I fit you, of course. Yeah, look, you had to let something go. You really may be dealing with a Virgo. Virgo had this too. In the same position, matter of fact. You don't gotta be, but you might just be. But uh yeah, you had to you got you letting go of the idea of something, or you already let go of the idea of something. If it's you versus you, you let go of the idea of something because you realize something was only killing you more than it was healing you or helping you grow. Yeah, something was leeching off of you. So you brought an end to that because you now realize what it is you want to invest in. You know what you want to mother now. You know what you want to work on. And now you, in order for you to work on that, you got to let go of this, whatever this is. It looks, you got real emotional. Or whether someone brings emotions out of you or something brings emotions out of you. And it's like you, you see that as long term. If it's a job, if it's a business, something makes you feel. Last card for Cap. Yeah, love is in reverse. You had to look. I told you, you had to realize you can't heal something. And you fell out of love with this relationship, with these people, with these friends, with this job, with this business, whatever it is. You, you, that shit, I told you, that shit fell hard. What song is this? Me a song. Say, look, I'm telling you, it's, it's you. And you a son. And you chose you. <laughs> and that's what it looked like. You chose you. Because you realize no matter how much you work on something, no matter how much time it looked, no matter how much fire, no matter how much passion you gave a relationship, these friends, this business and that, whatever you were working on, you gave it everything you got. And you realize it's you, you can't heal it. So, well, if I can't heal some... If I can't heal some, god damn it, if I can't heal some, then I'ma heal me. I gotta let go of some. Some ain't doing it for me. Whatever some is. If some is a person, then some is a person. If some is just a mindset you had that always kept putting you in a dead end, then, then let that some go. You had to let something go though in order to put yourself in a position to go after what you know is for you. You feel me? You got to make space for it, dude. The only way you can open a new door is if you close the one behind you. I'm a fuck with you, though.